A small Polk County business is out of thousands of dollars after it's targeted in a check cashing scheme. We first told you about this investigation on Tuesday. Tonight, authorities are still searching for three men they say hit bank after bank, stealing more than $20,000. News 13's Ashley Searles has our continuing coverage from the Rutherford News Center. Any idea, Ashley, why this business was targeted? No, Darcel, and that's a scary part of this. This could have been any small business. I spoke with the lead detective on this case today, and he said he hasn't found anything that makes this business more vulnerable than any others. It was one suspicious teller at this Asheville bank that pulled back the curtain just enough to reveal a crime spree that drained $20,000 from the account of this small business in Columbus. They started cashing the checks at about 2.30 in the afternoon. And by 5.30, they had cashed $20,000 worth of checks. In just hours, three men shown here in surveillance video hit banks in Buncombe, Henderson, and Polk counties, cashing bad checks. If it can't happen to us, it can happen to anybody. They've got a very good and well-planned out operation. Usually, fraudulent checks are fake checks, meaning the bank is the one that's ripped off. The difference here is these checks are legitimate checks. They're drawn on a legitimate checking account. In this case, the trio was charged with breaking into the business office of Albright Sanitation and stealing payroll checks. They had to case the joint. They really had to figure out how we were operating. They avoided all the security cameras we had. Then they used fake IDs, filled in bogus names, and made up addresses, even plugging in about what a paycheck from the business would amount to, forged George Geisler's signature, and cashed in repeatedly. And just pass it off as they got paid this past Friday from their employer and ran to the bank. They cashed 21 of Geisler's checks at five different banks in one day. That's something I'm trying to piece together as why would they have chosen this particular business. I mean everybody keeps saying it might be a former employee that might not have been involved but might have given somebody a, uh, an idea. But you know I just, I just, I don't know. Now, the men had to fingerprint every one of the checks that they cashed, and that's really the only traceable piece of evidence that they left behind at these banks. But so far, searches of the databases of the FBI, the state, and immigration enforcement have turned up no matches as to who these guys might be. Live in the Rutherford News Center, Ashley Searles, News 13.